Hey guys, this is Joette with balloncoach.com and we've got Jimmy Porter from Canada joining us this evening. Thank you so much for being here. And tonight I wanted to do a really quick free webinar on three steps to gain new balloon clients. All right, because bottom line is we're in business because we want to make money. And so I'm going to go cut right to the chase. There are three steps to gaining new balloon clients. People do business with people they know, like, and trust. So it's time for you to step out of your comfort zone because people cannot buy from you if they don't know that you exist. So the first question I'm going to ask, and for those of you who are joining us live, I'd love for you to type in an answer if you've got it. I'd like to know how do you currently gain new clients? Are you active in seeking out new people or are you just waiting for them to find you? I know so many people that when they get started in business in the balloon industry, because they're a creative person, they love to make fun stuff for others, that they just kind of make something and they kind of say, I'm doing it, but they expect people to find them and they're not confident in going out and knocking on doors, picking up phones and letting people know that they're there. So I want you guys to think about those and those people who are watching it as a replay and those people who are on live is think about what it is that you're currently doing to gain new clients and could you do more? So I'm gonna go ahead and give you some tips on doing more. The first part is no. How do your target clients know that you exist and where can your clients find you? On the right slide, it says partypeopleevents.com. It was taken off my phone. This is the new website that Jonathan Gerber has done this year in 2020 to help people find party people events, but not only find us, but be able to order balloons online directly on our website. That's a new feature for us within the last couple of months. In the past, they could only fill out a contact form they couldn't actually purchase from online but in today's trends, it's what people want. So do you have a website? Do you have social media? And do you physically have some type of location for your business? And if you don't have a location outside of your personal home, are you making sure that you are using your home address or a PO box so that you can have a listing online so people do think that you're a legitimate business? Um, so one of the people is telling us tonight that they honestly don't do anything. Um, they just keep posting on Facebook and Instagram um, and they come to me. And well, so you said you don't do anything, but then you said you use social media. So I do want to make sure people understand that if you're consistently using social media, that can work. So <laughs> that is doing something. And then Jenny's saying that she is active on social media also does um, ads online, but could totally do more. Thanks, Jenny. <laughs> All right. So the next thing is, is people need to like you, right? So your target clients need to like you personally, something about your personality or about your brand and the way you represent your company. So I want you to do a review of your website and your social media and things that you put out there. Do your photos share and show you in a good light. Because one of the things that I've noticed sometimes with social media is people forget that they want to possibly take out some of the negative stuff that they've posted on social media in the past, um, or they might want to be not too opinionated, or you may want to check too is, do you have a bunch of old photos on there that are not good from when you first started, right? So do the photos that are out there show you in a good light? Are your images attractive to your target client? So if your number one client is that you wanna work with moms and their kids' birthdays, but all your pictures are corporate, then you're not attracting the people that you want, all right? And then how do you get into your community to build relationships and referral partners and target clients? So getting to be liked by others is not just about hiding behind the computer but it's about getting out there physically into the world with people and building true relationships. It's not about having to be a used car salesman, but building real relationships. And then the last part is trust. People need to trust you that you're gonna take good care of them. So do you have a system set up? Like 
online, is there a way for them to give you their contact information or for them to order directly from you? Do they know what their next step is? Number two, you need to respond to them in a timely manner. I know in today's society, a lot of people don't like to answer the phone, but if a person's calling you for business and wanna give you money, you need to answer the phone or you need to answer that text or that email in a timely fashion, or they're just gonna to go to the next person. Follow up in a timely manner. You build trust by following up when you say you're going to. If you tell a client, I'm gonna have a quote to you in 24 hours, then by goodness, make sure that you have it to them within 24 hours, meet that deadline. And then you want to make sure that people can see the reviews of other happy clients. So when a client tells you, Joette, this was amazing. I can't believe how you transformed this space for my kid's birthday party. You're gonna ask that person for a review, for them to go to Google, for them to go to Facebook and to give you a five-star review. So that's a really quick nutshell of how to build your business and new clients is to build the know, like, and trust. And the bottom line is consistency is key. You want to meet people, you need to connect with them, you need to follow up and ask for referrals. And then guess what? You do it all over again. You meet people, you connect with them, you follow up and you ask for referrals. And it's a snowball effect that the more you do it, the more you're going to grow. And Jenny is shaking her head. So what I wanna do real quick is I want to introduce you to Jenny Porter because I want to talk to you about ongoing training to take your business to the next level. And Jenny is from Three Sparrows Balloons in Canada. And on the left is a picture of her jumping up and down. Is that not just the most adorable scene that she set for this um, magazine cover? And I have the magazine sitting right here at my desk. You can't see it great because of my screen share, but, um, and then it's Sweet Life. It's just an amazing design. So. Jenny, can you tell us just a teeny bit about what this um, represents for you with this magazine? Yeah, I was uh, very lucky to be able to be a part of this magazine. They contacted me. Um, so I was, it was very uh, heartwarming for someone to reach out to me in a, instead of me trying to push myself onto others. Um, so that I felt like that was a big step in my balloon business to know that uh, I'm more than just what I think I am. I'm a I'm not a big deal, but in my area, I am for balloons. So uh, I got the opportunity to build what I wanted, which isn't always the case where you uh, you usually have guidance. Um, so the sweet life is is really what it is. is it's working for yourself, uh, being your own boss, and and knowing that you can do and provide for. I provide for my family um, on my own, doing something I absolutely love from my home, um, which I think. A lot of people don't have uh, that luxury all the time, right. but it's been it's been a good five years for me um, building my business. Um, and but I honestly and and why I'm here today is is because I would never be where I am today without education. Um, I, I love YouTube videos and and that uh, don't get me wrong, they're great resources. But at the end of the day, when you can sit down with people that are um, like the leaders in our industry and, and hear from them and, and work with them one-on-one -on -one, face to face, uh, not this year for me in, in the case of COVID, but um, you, you actually get this, this feeling of like you're, you're in something bigger than yourself. And for me, I, I've learned so much. I, I've traveled across this country um, uh, Canada and, and across the states. And I've been to Wales. I met uh, Stuart Davies last year um, and, and went and just traveled and did the big bloom build. And I've been uh, to Chris and Marlene Potts um, for New Year's to help them with their builds. And uh, it's just every time I, I take an education course, whether or not you learn one tiny tidbit or, or a light bulb moment, those are the moments that that push you harder, drive you further and get you into that like motivational mode that this is more than a hobby. This is my business. I love it. When I yeah. got the privilege of meeting Jenny two years ago when she came to Orlando um, to one of our events there. So it's now called Balloon Boss Summit and we're getting ready to have one um, November 8th through the 13th of 2020. And then we'll have another one again in November of 2021. And what I just want to let people know is whether you invest in coming to my event or someone else's event, 
I encourage you to get connected in our industry, to build relationships in that professional network with other people, and to at some point get to hands-on or online learning where you can really dig into the balloon so that you can do these cool installations like Jenny did for that magazine. And um, as Jenny said, it's just growing your confidence in everything you go to and in that network of people that you can rely back on to. Jenny, what would be the number one thing you would tell people if they're skeptical about going to a training or they just don't feel comfortable doing it? Like, what do you think really helped you make those initial investments or, you, you know, investments later on? I think, I think at some point you need to take the risk of uh, getting over the fear of spending money. Because when you spend a little bit of money, you make money. So without those, like, I remember the first time I, I got to see Cody Williams do uh, organic. And I literally sat there and I was like, holy crap, this has changed my whole game. Because what I was doing with organic, organics obviously changed a lot. But at the time, uh, it did not look like his. And I had the opportunity to say to him, like, hey, like, this is what I'm doing. Like, how can I get better at this? And those hands-on opportunities, it changed my whole game. That I did, I've done huge installs since then um, at my local mall, building like 60-foot clouds. And um, without that training, it, it's not that it would have looked bad, but it would never have looked as professional as it did. And there's just some very small tips and tricks that I was totally missing that I had the chance to learn. Paying the, I think at the time it was around $2,000, um, paying that money at the time transferred back because that job that I did in, at Easter after we'd done that was a $12,000 $12, job or 12, yeah, 12, $12,000. Yeah. So like it, it was humongous. Like I, <laughs> That's awesome. I made, I made so much money for, for a three day job. How, how, how many people can say that, that small awesome. tips, all tricks and having the opportunity later to say thank you to him as well. That like, I couldn't believe that that had changed everything. Oh, that is so exciting. I didn't know that part of the story. Yeah. I love it. So one of the questions I'm going to ask you off the cuff is sure. After going to training and coming back home, did you take some time off or did you kind of hit the ground running or a mix? I've always been a little bit of a mixed bag. Um, I, I, I have a part-time job that I work um, on, right. my mortgage job. Um, and uh, so whenever I get the opportunity to do balloons, I, I take off work and I, I go do balloons because in the long run, this is, this is what I want to do. This is where I want my full-time job to be. So um, I think for me, like the, the big thing I took home from Balloon Boss is, is we get, you get a workbook and I literally have my workbooks from Balloon Boss. I've got uh, from Float as well. And they sit on a shelf because now those are my like encyclopedias when I'm like, oh, I wonder someone asked you for a job and I'm like, oh, I've done that before. <laughs> Where have I done that? Oh, that's, that's that time we did it with Eddie. Okay, I flip okay. back to that and I, I can open it up and I'm like, oh, that's right. That's, that's awesome. How you do it. And boom, it's gone, right? Cool, I love it. Well, and that's the thing, guys, is when you're going through this process of gaining new clients and you're wanting them to know, like, and trust you, by going to training events and having that professional photography of what's going on or the photography that you take, you're able to show people the quality of work and the things that can be done because so many people don't realize what can be done with balloons. And even with the amazing things that are on social media, a lot of times we ourselves don't know how to create it until we take that time to find out what are the bones and the structures behind those balloons that are just hanging magically in the air. It's not magic. There's a lot of work that goes behind it. So I think that's great. So I appreciate you giving us time tonight, Jenny. And uh, thanks for being on with us. And I absolutely love what you did with this magazine. It's so cool that they contacted Thank you. Yes. And you were able to create something really special and fun to sell. And it was, it. it was free. I didn't have to pay for it. So <laughs> free advertising. I get uh, people calling me all the time asking about balloons because they saw me in this magazine. That is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And so with Jenny in this magazine, it had several different photos of her work and it had great, um, information and many times when you're approached by a magazine like this it's typically where they're asking you to pay to be absolutely in it. and you have to pay by 
not like the page, but by the like business card size. So right it's wonderful spread that you were able to get that advertisement and um, that people were being able to see the amazing work that you do. So thank you for sharing that, thank Jenny. You. I appreciate it. So guys, for those of you who are on live with us tonight, I would love to know what questions you have about what I have said so far. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick review of it is that people do business with those that they know, like, and trust. And so you need to see where you're at with things, what you're currently doing, and then what it is that you need to add and actually look at your website and your social media and see if it really can attract the people that you want. Send it out to some random friends that you have and say, hey, look at this, what am I missing? Because sometimes there are some key things that you don't even realize aren't there. So let somebody else look through it for you. And then as you're building that like, look at your photos and make sure that they are attracting the people you want. And if they don't, then you need to set up some styled photo shoots or come up with ways that you can give your balloons away as gifts to get people to see the kind of work that you can do. And then when you're building trust with people, it's again, having a system for people to be able to purchase from you, to make sure that you're answering those phone calls and those emails in a timely manner. And that after you do a good job that you're getting those reviews from people because now other people are gonna hear about you through those reviews. And consistency is key. Building your strong balloon business is not an overnight success. I've been in the industry since 2003. And I had gone to trainings for years on how to do linking sculptures. And finally, one time I was talking to this person who's in the basket with me. She is a florist in my area, high-end florist. And I had met her and I had talked to her for years, but I'd never gotten a job. But she and I met when I was asked to go outside of my comfort zone. And I was asked to do a balloon piece at an art exhibit where she did a floral sculpture. I did a balloon sculpture. Other people did art out of different things. And um, at that event, she was able to see that I could do things that were unique and different that could be attractive for her clients. And then she came to me and said, you know what, Joette, we have this up theme event and we need or the places we'll go. And she goes, I need a higher balloon. And originally we we're thinking like just a three foot balloon on the tables. And then I said, well, what about a photo op? I'd love to do this giant hot air balloon. So I was paid, I would normally charge about $2,000 for this, but I charged a thousand because it was a nonprofit. And what was great is I was able to shoot photos of it and have the directions now that I sell on my website at ballooncoach.com. But what was awesome about this event is now people got to go into my balloons and experience them. I got paid for the job and then she was thrilled. And now for years, we have had repeat client after repeat client through her as a referral because of this job, because I stepped out and I took a risk and I did a project at an art gallery that got me connected with the right people that hang out with the people who have money to spend on balloons. So that is the other thing that I want to say in this process is having those strong referral partners who work with your clients who have money to spend on balloons is so important. And if you are missing, how do you make that connection? In my Balloon Boss Mastermind program, that's what we do, is in Balloon Boss Mastermind, we give you scripts on what to say and who to reach out to. And I wanted to let you know that right now, the doors are open for my Balloon Boss Mastermind program. And if you have problems with knowing what your pricing is for your um, balloons, having a guide like this helps people see what they want to buy and then know what the price is without you having to go back and forth. So what's great is Liz Romani has created for these in our mastermind group. And when you join mastermind, you can go in, you download this and you edit it. You put your logo here, you put your pricing here, you can change the color if you want, and then you hit save. And what's great is the pieces break apart. So now you can go into it and make it your logo colors, or you can make it red and blue. I mean, red, white, and blue for patriotic. You can make it red and green for Christmas, um, do it for Halloween, whatever you want. But all these pieces break apart. And each month we put a new guide in for you to be able to sell with. So whether you join our group or you're doing this on your own, having these kind of pricing sheets allows you to save time 
and not having to go back and forth with people on quotes because you can just show them this and then they can pick out the items that they want the best. Um, so again, when we were talking about that trust factor and the efficiency, this shows that you're a professional right from the bat. So if you're interested, our Balloon Boss Mastermind program, it's a $297 a month value that I do for just $97 a month and doors are closing at midnight on November 1st, because we're gonna do our new Thrive Challenge for November 2nd. What we do now is every 90 days, we do a challenge where we look at what our goals are for our future and our business. And then I help you break those down into action steps. And then I give you the training with the scripts, with the balloon designs, with information that you can use on social media, with the pricing guides, so that each day you wake up and you take one step forward to grow your business. Because as we talked about it earlier, it's a snowball effect. It's doing some of the same mundane tasks over and over again. And sometimes as a person that's creative, it's hard to come up with all these different things because you just want to create the balloons and you don't want to have to worry about the social media posts and the emails and the newsletters and all the other things that go into building a business. So we help give you a lot of that content so it allows you to be more efficient and to keep getting into the things you wanna do of working and creating great things for your clients. The other training that we talked about is Balloon Boss Summit and it is coming up November 8th through the 13th. So both of these programs are on the website, ballooncoach.com. Whether you come this year and hang out with us or you come with us in the future, I encourage you to take one step forward and step out of the fear that you might have right now on letting people know about your business and go out and build that know, like, and trust where you are just jumping up and down so that everyone knows that when they're having a celebration, you are the place to make the decorations for them. So guys, for those of you who are on live with me tonight, I would love for you to ask any questions that you have about the know, like, and trust process and how you can get engaged and involved with your customers to make sure that they know that you exist. All right, I'm checking my questions to see what we've got there. Don't be shy guys, feel free to ask questions. The bottom line is, is that the easier you make the process for your clients to know what your pricing is and how they buy from you, the more they're gonna be able to react. And that if you don't ask for the sale, the answer is always no. So many times I hear people saying, oh, well, I'm just gonna wait for them to call me or you know, the clients worked with me in the past and they'll just call me when they need me. And that's not always the case because we only remember so much. So sometimes people forget what the name of the balloon company was, right? Or they think that you can only do birthday parties. They don't know that you can do Christmas parties or they only think you can do Christmas parties and not that you can do weddings. So our job as a balloon professional is to educate people on the services that we offer and to continue to be in their face on a regular basis. So um, making sure that you put systems in place for technology so that you can easily reach out to people is another key plug that really helps out in this situation and in the know, like, and trust that follow-up part of having a customer management system or having at least um, some basic emails that you can get out to people on a regular basis helps them stay connected with you. So it seems like everybody who's on with us live tonight is staying silent, is not typing any questions. And so I'm going to do one last shout out before I wrap up. If there's any other questions that you have on this process, let me know. And the bottom line is, is I would love for you guys to get connected with us in our Balloon Boss Mastermind program so that I can give you ongoing support and help through this process to help you with developing your brand message and with helping you take action on a regular basis to keep moving forward each day. Because I know it's tough. Owning a balloon business is definitely not the easy way <laughs> to make money, um, but it can be super fun and rewarding to be able to work for yourself, but it's important to put key systems in place. And if you want to save time and money, come hang out with us at Summit or Mastermind so you can learn from other people to grow your business. And with our Balloon Boss Summit for 2020, it is online. So Jenny had said she's not able to come from Canada this year. So she'll be joining us live online. 
starting on Sunday the 8th, and it'll be super exciting for us to be able to share what we've got going on uh, live in Orlando with the people who cannot be there with us physically, but they'll still be able to have access to all the great photos of the designs that we create. So um, we had somebody share, my biggest fear is spending the money up front to practice. Do you have a suggestion? So yeah, it does cost money to buy the balloons. So what I usually try to do is I try to figure out what can I make that I can use for somebody, right? So maybe find a nonprofit in your area that you support um, or your kid's school or a neighbor's school or a church. Um, some kind of place that where you give the balloons to them after you create them so that other people can experience them. So um, I had balloons from the get-go when I bought my business. I bought an existing company and I would just grab balloons and I would make stuff that I hadn't made before so that I could have a picture of it. And then I would figure out how I can get it in the hands of the person who needs it. So um, I did a lot of work for my daughter's school at first, and I picked up a couple of nonprofits that I wanted to do work for. Um, so I wouldn't be like just building a random huge thing that takes thousands of balloons for no reason. You know, I'd want to make sure that it's for something, but finding community events and nonprofit events that you can help be a sponsor for, and not that you're giving it away, you sign up as an official sponsor, and rather than handing a person $500 or $2,000, you're giving them that value in the balloon decor and then being um, showcased as a sponsor. Um, that's super, super important whenever you do things like that. So, but yeah, Erica, the other thing too is to get to a live event. So like with Balloon Boss um, Summit, um, you're getting to work with balloons from Vitalik, Anagram, Qualitex and Tough Tex, many of the other hands-on events too where they have a variety of balloons. So now you're using other people's balloons and not your own. And that's another way to practice too. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, I'm so um, appreciative of you guys being on tonight and let me have a little bit of your time to talk to you about building the know, like, and trust so that you can gain new clients. And if there's anything I can do to help you out, check me out at ballooncoach.com. I'll be glad to help you out. My email is joette at ballooncoach.com. And you can always hang out in our Facebook group, Balloon Coach Community, where I help people take the next step and we share business tips and tricks. Um, I hope to see you soon in our mastermind program or at one of our live events. And just, I encourage you to take one step forward each day to do something to grow your business. And when it's scary, then you know you're probably doing the right thing, right? Because it's not always going to be super easy, but it's when we step out in fear that we're able to grow our wings and really soar. So thanks so much for being here and have a great night.